In this video, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about character sets, ASCII, Unicode that may be in your forthcoming exam. A computer stores everything in binary. When you press a key on your keyboard, it actually sends a binary number to the computer system. Your computer uses a character set. It's basically a list of characters and their binary number equivalent. Every character has a binary number associated with it. A character set represents all of the letters, numbers, symbols that are available to your computer system. They are logically ordered. Let me show you what I mean by that. The reason I think the exam board want you to know that character sets are logically ordered is because they may give you a value and then expect you to be able to work out subsequent values. For example, they may give you the value for capital A and then expect you to work out programmatically what a G would be. They also need you to understand this code. Later on in the specifications, ASCII is referred to again. The OCR exam reference language uses the code ASC and that converts a character into its ASCII integer value. It also uses CHR, which takes a number, for, for example, 97, and then returns the character back to you. You do not need to memorize 65, 97 or whatever. If they appear in your exam, at least one number will be given to you. And from that, you can work out the rest. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got here. Uh, I have told you that A equals 65. So because it's logically ordered, these are the values in decimal. What actually happens is the table stored inside of your computer system, be that your phone or um, your skybox or whatever it might be, it's stored in binary. You will notice capital A and small a have completely different numbers. Because they are completely different characters, we need to be able to represent either or both. And again, they will have a numerical value which is stored in binary inside of a computer system. It may be worth pointing out that these numbers here are the same in ASCII and in Unicode. ASCII is a subset of Unicode. So Unicode uses all of the ASCII stuff and then more. ASCII stands for American Standard Code of Information Interchange. You may have studied different versions of ASCII lower down the school, but for your exam, there is only one kind of ASCII and that is ASCII. And it is represented as eight bits. Forget everything else you may have learned about ASCII. 8 bits. Because it's 8 bits, it can store up to 256 characters. Each binary number represents a character. We can store 256. The biggest number we can store is 255, plus we can use 0, so there's our 256. This is sufficient for basic systems that would use English characters, numbers, and some symbols. Unicode, on the other hand, is an international standard. The exam board have not specified which version of Unicode we are dealing with. So what we are going to do is we are going to say it can use more characters. It can store more characters. And the reason for that is it because it uses more binary digits. For example, if we were using 16 bits, it can store 65,536. You do not need to memorize that number. You just need to know that it can store substantially more. As a result of this, we can also store other characters from different languages, and we can store a whole load of other symbols as well, such as emojis. If you have a document encoded in, say, Unicode, and you want to open that on a different computer system, it is important that that other computer system also has Unicode. Okay, here's a comparison between the two. ASCII is an American standard. It stands for American Standard Code of Information Interchange, and Unicode is used internationally. ASCII uses 8 bits to store its character set, whereas Unicode uses substantially more than that. The maximum number of characters available in ASCII are 256. In Unicode, it's substantially more than that. ASCII stores English characters, numbers, and some symbols. Unicode stores all of that, but in addition, also stores characters from different languages and other symbols, such as emojis.